All right, we are back. And in the second chapter of the virtual ticket, we're going to be talking about how to sell virtual tickets and look at a great case study, uh, ripping off the Band-Aid and getting right to the crucial steps. So let's jump into it. Don't forget to read chapter two and let's get started. So we're going to rip off that Band-Aid and sell the virtual tickets. We're going to look at a sneak peek behind Vid Summit, which is always a highly anticipated video marketing event in Los Angeles, California, where the world's top influencers get together to talk about marketing and branding and video production, a weekend of learning and networking. In 2017, I was invited to help uh, produce this event and help bring the virtual ticket sales. And it was, it's the fourth annual Vid Summit. So Daryl Eves, the creator, went through three years of Vid Summit and then said, you know what? We're ready to increase profits. I know that the demand is there. Let's do this. And it was actually the year that Gary Vaynerchuk had been hired to be the keynote speaker. So he knew that he had to sell virtual tickets for the first time. And so the event was already sold out. So that's great. When an event is 100% sold out, that's when you know that you can continue to sell tickets via virtual tickets because you have an unlimited opportunity to sell. And you can see here that we set up the live streaming gear kind of on the side. And so everybody who was in the crowd was, was in the chairs. And then the live streaming stuff was actually up on a platform to give us a nice little view. And we definitely put a PTZ optics, PTZ camera behind the stage in the corner so that we could zoom in to the Q&A area. And then we were able to control all of the PTZ cameras. So this is something we'll be looking at in more detail, but you can see they're using vMix here. We're controlling the PTZ cameras remotely. So there's no cameraman anywhere. It's all controlled via one computer, which is really nice. And you're gonna learn how to do that. But in a basic nutshell, when you live stream, you're gonna live stream to what's called a paywall or a content delivery network that supports a paywall. And that paywall does not let anyone through that hasn't paid to see the video player. So we're going to go into that in more detail in next chapters, but that's the high level situation. You're not live streaming this to Facebook or YouTube. Now there is a way to live stream to a private Facebook group and actually sell access to that Facebook group. And we'll talk about that, but you're going to be live streaming this. If you're charging for the tickets, you can't live stream it to YouTube and Facebook where everyone gets it for free. You can live stream portions of it, and that's part of the strategy we'll look at from Vid Summit, is that you can live stream behind the scenes access, snippets, portions of your show that say, hey, buy the tickets below to YouTube and Facebook. And that's always a great idea. But for your main meat of your content, the experience that you're selling, it will generally be behind a paywall or some type of access where only paid customers will get it. So that is kind of the high level look at what we're doing. So how does it work? Well, the customer buys the virtual ticket. You can sell this on your website. You can sell this through Eventbrite. You can sell it through TicketWeb, however you want to sell your ticket. You can even set up affiliates to help you sell tickets, which is a great idea as well. So you can do all of that and more uh, for selling. Not a problem. The customer gets an email from you. They get login credentials on how to log in and access the video whether that's embedded onto your website or through the content delivery network's website. And then the customer gets access and they can watch it on their Mac, their PC, their smartphone, their tablet, their smart TV. They can pretty much watch it anywhere. So it's totally scalable and it's totally global. And Daryl Eves said he wanted to share the excitement of the live event with online viewers. For a very long time, every year, Daryl sold recordings. So he'd record them, and he would share them and you could pay additional money to access the recordings. But the live stream adds the excitement and the shareability and it really increases profits. And later on in this course, we'll look at ticketing structure and maybe you sell you know, an in-person ticket, a live stream ticket and on-demand tickets optionally or in different bundles, depending on how it works for you. You can make any conference more profitable. Virtual tickets can make any conference more profitable because there's a fixed overhead for your conference. And you don't have to worry about the traditional expenses such as hotel fees. All you have to worry about is putting the right equipment together and have the right partners in place. So again, the customer buys the virtual ticket, they gain access, and they watch live. You have a live streaming setup. There's a paywall, a content delivery network, and the content delivery network handles distributing 
all of your content globally around the world. So you may be right now selling all in-person tickets and you have no virtual ticket option. This is the traditional approach, but it has a limited revenue stream. You can only sell so many tickets. As you further diversify, I believe what you will find is that more and more virtu virtual ticket buyers will be uh, visiting your event. And the more that, the better that your experience is, the more likely they will buy again and again and again. And, and hopefully, as you add more virtual tickets, you will be increasing the number of customers that you have and the diversification of your entire event. Just think about it. People can now watch at home your event in their pajamas. Yet viewers can still interact in the chat room. They can see all around your event. And along with the live viewers, the video on demand has always been a big deal as well. So you're live streaming it, but you're also recording it generally with the same exact system. Now, virtual ticket holders get the choice to see which talks they want to tune into. If you have a big conference, you can have multiple live streams going on at the same time and give your virtual ticket holders the option to watch whichever they choose, which is what we did at VidSummit. We had three unique talks going on at the same time. In fact, 98% of virtual ticket holders at VidSummit 2017 also purchased on-demand access to the recordings for an additional $49. Virtual tickets are convenient. That is why so many more people will buy them. So if you put a button right on your homepage prompting for more sales at the end of your event, direct ticket holders to the correct place to watch the live event. Now, conferences that have a lot of things going on at the same time, the only way to watch everything is the on-demand recordings. And so if you've got a lot of stuff going on, the best way to do it is to record everything and make sure it all gets posted later. So in the book, you're going to be able to read a Q&A that I set up with Daryl Eves so you can hear directly from an event manager what it was like to add a virtual ticket to his conference. And that's all recorded in this chapter. So read that. Our next chapter will be going over all the different case studies so you can learn about that and see where your event falls so that we can start drilling down on individual strategies to make your event a success.